So let's continue our journey and see the Beck story of farming and GIS. Brad. Thanks, John. I started working on my family's farm at the age of five, and I learned from my grandfather and uncle that farming is based on a simple principle. Maximize your yield, keep your costs low, and be a good steward of the land. Farming is in my blood, and farming is just as rewarding as it is hard, and it's full of uncertainty. In the past, there was a lot of guesswork in what we did. When making choices, we pieced together different types of information, such as weather, handwritten notes, and experience. The farming principles were sound, but the outcomes were often unpredictable and only realized at the end of the season. We only had one shot to get it right. In today's world, it's about precision agriculture, breaking fields down into zones. The farmers surrounded with GPS, complex analysis tools, a multitude of sensors, and real-time information in order to better track records, increase accuracy, and make more intelligent choices faster, which empowers us to be more efficient. At Bex, one of our goals is to use GIS to bring value to the farmer with the right hybrids, the best practices, and modern-day farming tools. By bringing farming and GIS together, Bex provides precision ag simplified to every farm. What we're going to share with you is how we bring complex real-time sensors, advanced mapping, and mobility to the farm so that farmers can focus on what's important, maximizing yield and being a, a good steward of the land. To show you how we are changing the world of precision ag at Bex, we'd like to take you on a quick tour of Farm Server. Craig? Thanks, Brad, and welcome to Farm Server. Farm Server is a complete farm management solution built on a GIS that brings precision agriculture to every farmer. This dashboard provides quick access to farms, fields, weather, and markets, supporting the farmer throughout the year. In the world of a farmer, there are four important seasons, planting, planting, growing, and harvest. The planting season begins with last year's harvest data. Farm Server accepts data from all precision ag equipment and makes it readable for the farmer. Here we have yield shown in bushels per acre showing the high and low performing areas of the field. Fields are highly variable and we can plan for that variability by creating small management zones. Let me show you how to create a new planting prescription for a field. Using the geo design tools in Farm Server, customers can create custom management zones for each field. Let's we'll start by, by adding soils, then yield, and last year's crop health imagery. Next, we need to rank the importance of each of these variables. For my farm, soils are on the low side, yield is high, and NDVI falls somewhere in between. In all reality, we need a combination of these variables to make the best zones. When we look at our new zones, you can see the impact of yield through the middle part of the field. Looking at NDVI, you can see the, the band on the east side of the field. What you'll also see is the impact that this design has on our estimated yield. Um, in this design, uh, we can estimate 190 bushels per acre for this design. And this is, the, this is better than last year. This is, what we, this is what you call geo design. For us farmers, it's what we do every day. The next season is planting, where we execute our plan. Deciding when to plant is largely driven by the weather and must be continually watched. Farm server tracks temperature and rainfall to find the right window. This year, planting, this year we planted in, in early April. During the growing season, fields are tracked every day. Heat is an important factor shown by the green dotted line on the map. We measure heat in growing degree units, or GDUs. This is the accumulation of heat throughout the growing season. For instance, today, we're at about 1,400 GDUs and the corn should be flowering. To monitor the health of the crop, Farm server requires aerial imagery. This helps the farmer understand exactly how his crop is performing. This imagery is automatically tasked, flown, and delivered within 48 hours. It's crop health imagery 
four bands, 50 centimeter accuracy, with 21 different views of crop health. It's precision ag simplified. This view of crop health, you see a few drowned out holes on the top part of the field and two different varieties of corn in the field with the higher performing variety in green. Now let's fa fast forward a few months to the harvest season. With a little cooperation from the weather, we will have a great harvest and start to plan again for next year. With Farm Server, customers have access to all their data anytime, anywhere, allowing farmers to make informed decisions for generations to come. Brad? Thanks, Craig. <laughs> Farm Server really introduced the power of GIS to our entire business. Brooke, our GIS director, is now going to show you how we're using GIS with our sales team. Thanks, Brad. Beyond Farm Server and how we support our farmers, we also use GIS at Bex to support our sales team. I'm going to tell you a short story of some of our most interesting examples. Our leadership team has access to the ArcGIS online site. This helps them evaluate whether or not our dealership locations are aligned with our crop sales. GIS is not just for the leadership team. In our marketing department, we are continually analyzing attendees who participate in our user event, Technology Days. This map helps them understand the distribution of customers and where to focus campaigns and outreach. What's truly amazing at Bex is when every new person joins the company on the sales team, they are equipped with an iPad, all of Bex's valuable information products, and access to ArcGIS. Like this map, showing our sales team where to locate our research plots so they can show the farmer the latest and greatest hybrids. The next example is truly unique at Bex. With our 100% replant policy, we don't sell a bag of seed, we sell a stand of corn. Our sales team uses Collector to quickly report any issues back to management, eliminating the lag in time between incident and action. When this information comes in from the field, we use a geo event processor to enrich reports. This process triggers an email providing instant awareness. What used to take days or weeks, now it just takes seconds for follow-up, analysis, and reporting. For the remainder of my short story, I want to share with you our top secret sales data. It took leadership authorization for me to share this with you today. This is the heart of the Beck sales territory. You can see the magnitude of where we are selling corn. This analysis shows how our distribution has changed over the last 12 years from light to dark with the mean center over our headquarters in Atlanta, Indiana. What I'm about to show you is really exciting. No one's ever seen our sales data this way. We used ArcGIS Pro to create a space-time cube. We can visualize intensity of corn sales in bins that show high and low sales over time. We can also see a 3D surface of a hotspot analysis showing both spatial and temporal trends. It's cool, right? Let's walk through the executive briefing that we did that created a lot of chatter amongst the team, answering the questions, how are we doing, and where are we having problems? In the area around Atlanta, you can see where corn cells have been hot from the beginning, as well as growing hot areas with new hotspots emerging on the outskirts of our traditional marketing area. Opposite are areas where we are making progress. And finally, the dark blue cold spots represent regions we have yet to turn. What's most interesting are these areas in gray that show no trend. To further investigate this, let's look at three specific examples. The first area is easy to explain. By visualizing the USDA corn production, we can see simply there's just a lack of corn acres. 
And what about the second area? Why are we having this problem? The explanation is competition. And we have a lot of it in this area, as you can see from this concentrated hotspot. And to further complicate things, there's a farm management group whose customers are buying from our competition. But the good news is we are encroaching on this area. The third area is interesting and most likely tied to our sales team. We clearly see a lack of sales staff supporting the area. But by adding a 45 minute drive time, we can see where additional sales staff might be necessary. Using the ArcGIS platform at Bex, we've learned that information can be brought to life, helping make better decisions, enabling the sales staff across the organization. And this is changing the way Bex operates. Brad? Thank you, Brooke. Farming at Bex Hybrids truly is a family business, and we'd like to thank our extended family and our partners at Esri as they help us as we travel down this road. Thank you.